Okay, next I want to show you a two-part problem. The problem is to form three-digit numbers from the digits 5, 7, 8. And the two-part comes in because of the uh, possibility that we could repeat a digit or not. So first of all, if there are, uh, if repetition is allowed, then how many possibilities are there? Okay, so we could think of this in terms of a tree diagram. Start. So, first digit, three possibilities, right? It could be a five, could be a seven, could be an eight. Okay, and then for the second digit, again, three possibilities. Five, seven, eight. Five, seven, eight. Okay, and then finally for the third digit, again, I'm going to have three possibilities for each of these branches. Now I have nine branches so far, and if I have three more possibilities tacked onto each one, that'll give me a total of 27 possibilities, right? I can't draw them all because I don't have enough room here. But you can see, for example, if I had a 7 first and then a 5, then I could still have uh, 5, 7, and 8 for my third digit. And that's going to hold true for each one of these branches. So that gives me a total of 27 possibilities. Now part two says how many possibilities are there if repetition of a digit is not allowed? Okay, so again I have my tree diagram. My first digit can be any one of the three because I haven't used a digit yet. Five, seven, or eight. But now for my second digit, I'm restricted in my choices because I'm not allowed to repeat the digit I've already used. So for five, there are only two possibilities. There's seven and there's eight. And for seven, only two possibilities, five, and eight, and for eight, there's five, and there's seven. And for the third digit, no choice at all. Really, because once I've used two of the digits, then my third one is determined, right? I only have one choice. Eight, in this case, seven here, this one is eight, this one is five, this one is seven, and this one is five. Okay, so now I can just count up my twigs and I see my total is six. So that little difference whether the repetition of the digit is allowed or not 
It makes a big difference in the total, doesn't it? Okay, let's do one more problem. Ramona has five tops, four pants, and three jackets. How many outfits are possible? And of course we're going to assume here that all of these items of clothing can be uh, can go with any other item, which may not be a good assumption. Okay, so again we can start with our tree diagram. In this case, there are going to be too many possibilities for me to write out. So select the, the top, uh, so five possibilities for there. And then for each one of those, there's four possibilities for the pants. And then for each one of those, there's three possibilities for a jacket. Okay, so that leads us to conclude that the total is going to be five times four times three, which is 60 possibilities. Now, it may well be that there are restrictions on this problem involving which items of clothing will go with other items, but that hasn't been stated, so we'll just leave it at that.